Carolina, and it's and it's not going to happen because we're going to put very heavy tariffs on those cars coming across the border, and we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let it happen. So what we're saying is, Nico, we're going to have these companies that want to build in Mexico, they want to build in China, they want — if they want to do business in the United States, they have to make their product, whether it's a car or anything else. We want them to make their product, have their plant in the United States. This way, we employ our people, like Nico. We're going to employ you, I guarantee. And we're going to do it very fast. And then we have to keep out the competition, and we're going to make fair trade by charging them tariffs. If they want to come in and steal our wealth and steal our jobs and steal our companies, then they have to pay a price for that. And we've done it. And, you know, I charged, as, as Marsha can tell you, China paid hundreds of billions of dollars during my term. And I had no inflation. We had a great — we had the greatest economy in the history of our country. And, and we were just getting started, actually. But we had the greatest economy, the greatest employment for everybody — men, women, African-American, Hispanic-American, Asian-American, everybody. Young people with a diploma, without a diploma, people that went to the best schools in the world got PhDs. Every single class, without exception, was the best they've ever been. And we're going to get that back and then some. So we're going to bring a lot of companies in, and we're going to have a lot of jobs, and you're going to have a lot of jobs to choose from, okay? Thank you. That's great. Everybody appreciates that and appreciate when you talk about immigration, you talk about building the wall and making certain that we secure this country. Okay, Misty. And by the way, we built, we built more wall than I said I was going to build, and then we had 200 miles of wall ready to go. It was all fabricated, all made to the highest specifications of Border Patrol and ICE, and it was all set. And then we got more votes than any sitting president has ever gotten by far. And they say we lost the election. So let's leave it at this. You know what? We have one coming up in 39 days, so that'll be a wonderful replacement. <laughs> wonderful replacement. Absolutely. All right. Misty. Good evening, President Trump. I wasn't sure. She reminded me when I was in the debate with crooked Hillary Clinton. She got up and she started walking around, and I said, what's going on over here? Go ahead. I didn't know you were going for such a beautiful young lady. Go ahead, please. Oh, thank you. Good evening, President Trump. Good evening. My name's Misty. I'm proudly — I'm sorry. I proudly build the Ford um, Broncos and Rangers. Yeah! I've been with Ford for 25 years. If I'm going to be honest with you, I'm sorry. I was not for you in the beginning. But my son told me I sounded ignorant and I needed to educate myself on you. That's it. True. That's what we're like. Where is he? Where is he? Is he here? No, he. he well, you say, go. I love your son. I think it's great. 